The Challenge of the Yukon. On King! On New Husky! <laughs> the Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo League dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Weston as he meets the Challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog King met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. Big plans were afoot for the New Year's Eve celebration in 40 Mile. The afternoon of the party, Pierre Duval and Bill Cross were telling Sergeant Preston about it in Pierre's trading post. <laughs> there will be three fiddle and a guitar to play for dancing and lobby of hotel is decorate. And there's going to be plenty of liquid refreshments. It's going to be a wingding. You'll be there, won't you, Preston? Well, I certainly shall. I came over from Dawson for New Year's Eve in 40 miles. Oh, it will be fine party. <laughs> If I could only go. Where well, ain't you going, Pierre? Oh, I don't like for leave store. Miners have come for New Year celebration. Leave gold in my safe. Someone must guard it. Seems too bad you should miss that party, Pierre. Uh, uh, Sergeant, what you do with King tonight? You take him with you to hotel? A well, New Year's Eve party is no place for a big husky. I'm going to leave him in my room. Uh, maybe, maybe if you would leave him here store. Then I could go to party. Why, why certainly, Pierre. I'd be glad to leave him here. I'll guard the place for you, won't you, boy? <laughs> oh, thank you, Sergeant. <laughs> C'est bien. Now I can celebrate, too. I'll bring him over before the party starts. Uh, you going my way, Bill? Oh, yeah. See you later, Pierre. Good morning, Sergeant, and thank you again. One King. It's getting colder, ain't it? Bill's wagon. Hello, Sergeant Preston. Well, hello there, Bobby. Look what the Chinaman gave me to celebrate New Year's with, Sergeant. Mm, firecrackers. Wait, I'll set one off for you. They make an awful noise. Watch. Look out now. Oh, what a noise. Well, come on back, King. Won't hurt you. Oh, gee, Sergeant. I didn't mean to scare him. I didn't think that dog was afraid of anything, Preston. Well, I've never seen a dog yet that wasn't afraid of firecrackers. King will jump right out a gun, but firecrackers are a different story. It's all right, fella. Come yeah, here. I hope he knows I didn't mean it. He doesn't want to come near me. We well, can smell the firecrackers on you. Have a good time, Bobby. Happy New Year. Goodbye. Happy New Year. Come on, King. Oh, uh, Preston. Yes? I just thought of something I forgot to get from Pierre. I'll have to go back. All right. See you later, Bill. Uh, Bobby... Where'd you say you got them firecrackers? From the Chinese laundry man. That's the way they celebrate Chinese New Year's. You uh, wouldn't want to sell some of them, would you? Well, didn't give me very many. Well, I just want about six or seven. Give you a dollar apiece for them. A dollar apiece? Gee, sure I'll sell them for that. And uh, I'd rather you didn't tell nobody about it. <laughs> you see, I want to play a joke on someone. I won't tell a soul, Bill. Here you are. Bill Cross went directly to his cabin at the edge of town. The door was locked, and he knocked softly. It's me, Bill. Hey, George, let me in. Oh, I was scared for a minute. Didn't expect you back so soon. Anybody try to get in while I was gone? No. I'm getting out of here soon. It ain't safe. No hurry. Nobody will come out here today. They're all busy planning to celebrate New Year's. Some of us started already. I'm postponing my celebrating till I'm across the border. Did you did you get them supplies for me? Yeah. Here they are. That little bundle? George, you're going to be carrying more than supplies across the border. I didn't buy too many. What are you talking about? I got a perfect setup for you. You'll be lugging so much gold dust with you that you won't be carrying much else. You mean a job? One that's right down your alley. Cracking a safe. Bill, are you crazy? You forget I just busted out of jail. If they catch me this time... They won't catch you. Nobody even knows you're in town. The place is full of people. This ain't no time That's to... That's where you're wrong. It's a perfect time. Everybody will be celebrating at the party over at the hotel. There'll be so much shooting and yelling that anything we do will be covered. With everybody sleeping late tomorrow, you'll have time to get to the border before they find out what happened. And what are you doing in this job? I'll sneak away from the party at midnight. 
Help you with it? And get back before they miss me. Then I'll hang around here for a few days. So they won't suspect me. I'll meet you in Eagle City the last of the week. Uh, where is all this money? It's in Pierre Duval's trading post safe. <laughs> that old hunk of iron? I can get in that easy as a paper bag. I know you can. And nothing's going to be guarded except a dog. A dog? What, what, what kind of a dog? <laughs> well, it's Sergeant Preston's lead dog. Sergeant Preston? He in town? Listen, I, I'm getting out now fast. Now, George, don't get panicky. He's probably after me now. He, he must know that I escaped. No, he isn't. He comes here every year for New Year's Eve. He'd have said something about it, wouldn't he? Anyway, I don't want no part of that dog of his. Look at this arm. See them scars? That's what happened the last time he and that dog met up. He's worse than two men guarding that safe. I got that all figured out. You're, you're going to shoot him? No. Then count me out. I'm going to use him to give you more time for your getaway. Oh, I know you're crazy. Uh, what are you going to do, bribe him? There's only one thing that dog's afraid of. Firecrackers. What? I'll use firecrackers to get him in the back room and shut him up. You get the money, fix his safe so they won't know it's been tampered with. Then we let the dog out of the back room and run. I'll say we'd have to run. He'd chew us to pieces before we was halfway to the door. Not with a couple of firecrackers busting in his face. I'll tend to that. You can get out first. The dog is there. Nothing looks disturbed. They'll think the place was robbed after Preston took him home with him. And I'll have an airtight alibi from that time on. It was nearing midnight. George, waiting in the shadows beside the trading post, could hear the celebration at the party two blocks away. Then he saw Bill's figure approaching. George! George, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. We gotta hurry while they're shooting and yelling. I ain't going in there till you got that dog locked up. Did you get the door unlocked? Yeah. And that mud almost tore it down trying to get at me. I'll take care of him. Wait till I light this candle. I can use it for the firecrackers and the sea with it. All right, George. Open that door a crack. Get back there, you mutt. Uh, that got him away from the door. We'll go in. No, I, I ain't coming with you. Well, wait out here then. Get back there, you Back, I say. Back. Back in that other room with you. That's where I want you. Get back in there. Can't get at us now. Come on in, George. It's safe. He's shut the back room. Yeah. You're sure he can't get out? Yeah, hurry, you fool. He's still making noise. Yeah. Yelling and shooting. We've got to hurry. Listen to that cur. Why would he like to get at us? Two soon, Sergeant. It was two o'clock, Pierre, and I wanted to leave while you were still on your feet. Uh, nobody's never carried Pierre home. <laughs> well, it was the first time for everything. Well, here we are. I'll get King. I guess everything's all right. Happy New Year, King. You guard my store well, huh? All right, boy. I'm taking you home. Uh, good night, Sergeant. Happy New Year. Same to you, Pierre. Good night. Good night, boy. <laughs> I guess we shouldn't have planned to stay here in the hotel tonight. That party will last till morning. Well, what's the matter, boy? You've acted funny ever since we got here. Trying to tell me something? Come here, fella. You know, sometimes I wish you could talk it, but what? Well, you're burned. All the hair on your shoulder. So that's what's wrong. You must have rubbed against Pierre's stove or something. Well, that's too bad, fella. But skin isn't burned much. It'll be all right tomorrow. Now, you lie down. We better try and get some sleep. Morning, Jim. Hello, Sergeant. Well, you don't look too happy this morning. Guess I was a little too happy last night. You going this way? Yes, I have to get some things to the trading post if Pierre's awake. He better be or I'll have to wake him. 
Have to get the money from my furs and head back home. <laughs> There's Bill Cross. He don't look too chipper either. Well, what's he doing in town at this hour? He stayed with Ned last night. Oh. Said he didn't think he could make his cabin. Hi there, Bill. Uh, hello. hello, Bill. How do you two feel? Oh. 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 Get away from him, Sergeant. Take him Hang up. back. Get away from him. What's wrong with you? Hey. What did he do that for? Well, I can't imagine. He's never even growled at Bill before. I'm sorry, Bill. Crazy mutt. What's wrong with him? Hold him. Boy, he tore your pocket off. Here's the stuff that fell out. <laughs> Firecrackers. Where'd you get them? I, I was shooting them off last night. Uh, yes, I missed a few. You aren't hurt, are you, Bill? No, no. I'm all right. I'll see you later. was funny. King's never jumped anyone before without a reason. Uh, here we are. Let's see if Pierre is up yet. Oh, Sergeant, so glad I am to see you. I have been robbed. Robbed? When? Robbed? Uh, this morning, I go to open safe. The door fell off. Everything, all gold is gone. Did you hear anything after you went to bed? No, but that must be when it happened, while I sleep. King, he was here till I come home last night. What's this on the floor? Boy, it's part of a firecracker. There's another one over there. Did anyone shoot these off yesterday, Pierre? No, nobody in here. I wonder. Maybe you were robbed before we got back last night. But no, they, they, they could not without shooting King. King jumped Bill Cross just now for no reason. Bill had firecrackers in his pocket, remember? And Bill was with me yesterday when Bobby scared King with them. Jim, we're heading for Bill's cabin right now. Come on, King. <laughs> Tell you, Sergeant. You stayed with Ned all night. He'll prove it. And you saw me at the hotel before that. I didn't see you all the time, Bill. Well, you ain't got nothing on me. You can search this cabin. There's no gold here. Hey, Preston! Yes? I can see that dog of yours out of the window here. He's acting awful funny. His hair's standing up on his back, and he keeps running back and forth towards the woods. They're probably my tracks. That dog's got something against me for some reason or other. Come on, we're going outside and find out. No. I'm afraid of him. He won't hurt you unless I tell him to. Come on. What's wrong, fella? There's tracks leading away from the cabin. King seems worried about them, and they aren't yours, Bill. Why, sure they are. He wants to follow them. I think I'm beginning to see what happened. You had someone helping you, someone King's known before. He sure wants to follow them. All right, Bill. I'm taking you to town and confining you until we trace these tracks. They lead west toward the border. George had built himself a rude shelter of spruce boughs and fallen into an exhausted slumber after plodding through the snow weighed down with a heavy gold. He was awakened suddenly by a deep growl and opened his eyes to look into the snarling jaws of a huge dog a few inches from his throat. Don't you wait! Help! All right, you get her. Don't try and reach for a gun or that dog will kill you. King, then you... That's Preston. Why, George Jameson... What are you doing out of prison? King and I put you there three months ago. Boy, I, uh, you yeah. remembered him too, didn't you? So you're the one who helped Bill Cross steal that gold. So he squealed, did he? The dirty double crosser. No. King just did a fine job of pointing both of you out to me. All right, fella. Got him. We're going back to 40 miles. <laughs> These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at this same time and reach you from our transcription studios. Hugh Holder speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network. <laughs>